subbies, welcome back to YouTube channel, it's your girl Jisha and it's everything and today I'm back with another video, not any video though, but a video, yes, so today, 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 as you see by the title up above, I'm gonna make candle, oh, can oh, candle, wait, oh, candle, <laughs> so, I got my scissors here, so I can like open and I'm gonna show you what our comes in. So it's a DIY candle kit. Do it yourself. So I don't know how much comes in it. I'm gonna pop up on the screen how much for the whole package. But then I'm gonna just like you know do it for y'all. So this is it. Do it yourself. So got plastic here. Okay. That Make sure that you follow my social media though down below the description box so you guys can get you know notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, that's that. Mmm, mm, smells good. Smells really good. <laughs> so this is it. This is the kit. It's all open. It's a plastic, a twin plastic, all the clear plastic, and it's like look. Y'all hear that? So I know this can is gonna take a long while to make. Read the instructions. 
Step one is stick the glue dots to the bottom of the cotton wick. The glue dot. There you go. Oh, it's in the bag there. So, yeah. Step two, stick the cotton wick to the bottom of the candle tin. Okay. Step three, pour the bee wax into the melting pot, heat melting pots, and melt wax. Where do you heat it, though? Do you, like, put it on the stove? Or do you put it in water and heat it? I don't know. It doesn't tell how to heat it, and it doesn't tell you, like, you know, how much to put in there. Just say, put the bee wax into the melting pot, heat melting pot, and melt bee wax. So, that's what it says. In step four, put moderate of dye blocks in the wax, then, what? <laughs> put moderate of dye blocks in the wax. Okay. Then, start to make them mix evenly and then step six is the measure with a thermometer and add fragrance at around 65 degrees celsius Period. 
So y'all, I'm gonna go ahead, go into the kitchen, make this wax melt, and then, yeah. So, go ahead, pour the wax into here. I don't know if the off those wax is gonna, um, you know, it's gonna... So what I'm gonna do to measure it is that I'm gonna pour one and a half wax in here. I guess one and a half of this would fill the whole container. And I'm gonna do it to the same one to measure it because it doesn't tell me how much wax to use. So I'm gonna do that to measure it. And then I'm gonna see if I can take some some stuff out of some old candles. Um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna remake some new candles too. So stay tuned for those videos. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go ahead and make these candles. So I'm gonna go ahead and boil the wax. I'm gonna see if I can take y'all in the kitchen with me. I'm gonna go in there and look. If y'all can, you know, come in there with me. But oh my god, the scents are smell so I wish y'all could smell the rose though. The rose is just perfection. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling. Oh my god, it's about 30 minutes I've been sitting here to talk. But I guess I'm gonna cut out some stuff out of here though. But I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, this is the kitchen. Because I thought it would take long to you know to dry too hard and everything but I guess it's not complete hard and hardened but it's hardened enough so yeah the candle I make this is this is my candle I'm gonna make two candles try these two here it's so beautiful Right, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna insert clips of them. They're so beautiful. As I tell you, it's my first time making candles and I did it uh I didn't it. So this one is for me. So this one is made in lavender, lavender and ocean. Lavender and ocean. So I like this one. So I got a little more lavendery, more lavender though. The main one is lavender. Then I have ocean, then I have a little bit of rose, I have a little bit of lemon, peppermint, and yeah. Next one is this one here. This one is ocean, no, rose and ocean, but the main one is rose. It smells just like rose with a hint of ocean and peppermint and lavender and eucalyptus. Because, yeah, and I put eucalyptus in this one to put just a little up, not so much. I created I created and made this one and it comes out so beautiful my baby I love it so see this is pineapple daisy 
and as you can see I add rows to it again to the top of all the candles I add rows on them like dry dry roses them. I was gonna put rose on this only then I'm like let's put it in this it's cute. okay let's put some in this not too much but it's a little it looks so cute but I love it though so when it's gonna burn it's gonna smell so good I like this DIY candle kit I'll for sure buy more of these but when I'm gonna make candles again I'm gonna buy since I know how to make it now I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy me some jars some cute 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 pretty jars some some different candle sets so if you want me to do more um DIY stuff like do it yourself please <clears throat> comment down below what you want me to do myself and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up comment what video or what reaction you want to react to next because reaction video is coming monday so i already make some reaction videos for monday tuesday and wednesday i'd make some reaction videos already so i'm just i'm gonna you know just want to make this video and just cool off this saturday with reaction video and give y'all diy and i gotta go ahead take me a nap no not take me i gotta go ahead eat this video watch me a movie on BET. the movie that i'm watching is um games people play so i'm watching that on BET right now so if you haven't watched it as yet i already give you a nice movie to watch so go ahead and watch that movie games people play on BET. and yeah so yeah so <clears throat> i'll see you guys monday bye mm -hmm. <laughs>